At OKA, we noticed how many clients we have that rely a lot on their teams and fully expect them to perform, to cohere, and to make critical decisions that carry a lot of weight. At the same time, a lot of these teams don't practice behaviors that foster collaboration, disclosure, and inclusion. Team members don't feel safe to open up, to take the initiative, or really put their necks out there. So, in reaction to this, OK has developed an approach to team communication and collaboration to make teams safer to speak. So central to this safe to speak design is a new exercise we put together that has a team decide the behaviors that the group most often engages. This is done through a card sort activity. Now, some of these resulting team behaviors promote team safety and, and others do not. For instance, one team behavior is Group members collaborate by looking for common ground and points of agreement. Now, if groups do not engage this behavior, then they must engage the opposite action, which is group members debate to win disputes. Now, the team makes a number of these kinds of choices through the sorting and moving around of these cards to create a team behavioral portrait. So another example, between these two behaviors, which does the team do more often? Group members actively listen, seeking to truly understand what is being said or expressed, or group members emphasize making their points known over listening or considering alternatives. The exercise has up to 20 pairs of team behaviors to choose between, resulting in a portrait of behaviors, none negative or dysfunctional, but some supporting a safe to speak environment and others working against this goal. Once a behavioral portrait has been co-created, teams are then led to decide the two or three behaviors they could collectively agree to work on to bring about and maintain a safe-to-speak environment. For instance, a group that identified this behavior, the group is driven by the agenda, assuming anyone with a contribution will or should speak up. This group could collectively decide to activate and practice the opposing behavior, which is the group pauses and checks in with each other to make sure everyone has a voice. The tricky piece of creating safe to speak environments, as is the trick with almost any group level change, is remembering that teams do not grow. Groups don't change. Only people do these things. Groups can make goals and collectively hope and want things to be different, but the group will only change when critical mass of its members actually decide to make the effort sometimes the painful effort, to change and to stretch towards a new behavior. So no new group decision is the final step. This actually is just the beginning. The next more important step is when individuals, one by one, take on the group's targets and goals. Only then do teams grow and change and become truly inclusive and safe to speak.